if you've dreamt that you've lost or missed or you can't find your child or baby in the dream, it can be very disturbing, traumatic and you can wake up feeling panicked and all you want to do is try and protect your child in waking life. Sometimes if the child is not in your care, perhaps they're with uh, at school or they're with another partner, you then start to believe that perhaps something might happen and it races around your mind. I'm here to give you the spiritual message of your dream. This is a dream that it's not about real life, but it's about how and what is going on inside of you. It's about if you're a parent and you dream of losing your child, it's about your love and your nurturing, caring and loving feelings towards your child. You have to take into account, of course, that as parents, we are always, always worrying about our children. We are always so focused on our awareness of anything or any danger that would happen to our children. And this awareness at times can cause anxiety and worry. And we are always alert around what is happening with our children. If you are a mother, then it is very natural to have this dream. Of course, if you're worried about losing your child and the dreams are showing you in a state of anxiety, this means that you could be feeling as if your child is becoming independent. If you've recently gone through a separation, for example, and your child is um, with the other parent, this often means that you dream that your child is lost or missing because it's a metaphor of how you're feeling about losing that time with your child. If you are a father and you dream of your missing child, it carries the same dream as a mother in that it is about the fact that your child might be going through some milestone developments or you feel that your child is progressing in something and you're kind of losing them. To see the vision of a missing child in the dream is particularly frightening. If you think about children, they're a gift from God. They are a symbolism of our blessings, of our divine light. It is normal for children to be running around, to be enjoying life, to be full of energy. But if we dream that we cannot find our child or they are missing or kidnapped or, you know, killed by somebody, it can be a huge dream of significance. First thing I've already covered is that this dream could be just your reaction to losing your child through the milestones as they begin their journey of life. I love to turn to the biblical meaning, the biblical meaning of a missing child in a dream. It can indicate that we need support and care in our love. If we look at the scripture of Matthew 19.13, it says that the children are the platform to serve God. They're a heritage of the Lord. If we look at Psalm 127 to 3, God places children in a high sphere in scripture. Children have very complex feelings, just like we do as adults. They get frustrated, they get sad, they're jealous, they're frightened, they're worried, they're embarrassed. Young children, however, don't have the vocabulary to communicate with us. This dream of a missing child can be the sign that you need to understand the feelings better of your children. From the moment a child is born, they learn the emotional skills that they need to identify themselves in life and manage their feelings. Being a parent means you've got to be really important in the role of helping your children understand their feelings and behaviours. A missing child in the dream could be a signalism that you need to show how to manage their feelings in positive and constructive ways. Sometimes children do not have the words to express how they feel. 
they might instead act out these feelings in ways which will cause problems. For example, if your children have been hitting or throwing toys or they're angry and frustrated, they might have a hard time settling down to sleep after an exciting day. These are all cues as to why you've had the dream of a missing child. I will also just end with this note. It is important for you to be extra vigilant with your children. I'm sure you are anyway. As parents, we're always watching what we're doing to protect our children. It is exhausting to always have the anxiety as a parent and the worry of a missing child. Go to a park, for example, It is natural that you feel apprehensive and slightly on edge that your child is going to go somewhere or never come back. It is just a natural process. I truly believe that the reason we sleep is not related to our own need for rest, but our need to be in contact with the wisdom available to our conscious mind associated with our past, present and future life events. I do hope you enjoyed this spiritual message of the child going missing in a dream. And if you check out my website, artyflow.com, I've detailed lots of information about this kind of dream. Thank you very much and God bless. Bye bye.